Okay. Same thing. We start from the clinch. Okay. I'm going to break it down once more. Slide it all the way down to the wrist. A full palm of a grip. From here. I jerk the arm out. I grip the neck. From the grip, it's very important to keep his head down. Why? It's because when you push somebody's head down, automatic reaction is to pull the head back. As your opponent pulls the head back, that's your cue to go in for the throw. This is my cue. I step with my left leg almost at the same line as his right leg is. At the same time, I have the, I have the grip on the neck, I have the grip on the arm. The wrist right here. Now at the same time, I'm stepping over. My right leg goes up, hits the back of his knee. At the same time, I push, I pull, and my body twists. One more time. From here, I have the wrist, boom. I push it down. As he's coming up, one and two. Now from here, my leg hits. At the same time, I pull, I twist, and the throw is executed. Jitty here. See, so pump the leg once and step behind, push it with the left hand, high on one side, low on the other, blocks the leg with his foot, just pushes it down. You know, when you fear a guy striking that much, you're going to be open for the takedowns. There it is again. Just launches it down. It's like throwing his nephew down there. I'm going to start with my left hand at about next to his neck on his right lapel. My right hand is going to come to his left sleeve. <clears throat> when I execute this throw, I want his left foot back. The regular Soto guard, square your feet up, is here. And it's easy to get to that foot. <clears throat> but when that foot is back, it is difficult to come in and do the regular Soto guard because I'm leaning back. If I were to hook the leg, but I'm leaning backwards, he can take me backwards. So for this one, what I want to do I'm going to pull this arm in tight and I want to turn my wrist like this and make sure his chest, his left chest is on my left chest. <coughs> this elbow is going to be glued into my side. At the same time, I'm going to bring my right foot next to my left and this left foot is going to hook right behind his knee. I'm going to slide my foot down to the ground and my right foot is going to rotate parallel to my left foot and then keeping in tight. I'm just going to lift my left leg up and try to put my left shoulder on my right knee. Good knee, knee to knee contact there. Time. 